Your eyes and mine are daytime eyes, and we have absolutely no trouble seeing scenes like this lit by sunlight. But at night, it's a different story. And particularly on the road, it could be very dangerous if we couldn't see people. So we dress them in clothing that reflects like a cat's eyes, and then we have no trouble seeing them. And that material, that reflective material, is very interesting stuff. We'll see how it works, but first of all, let's see what it is. It doesn't look much when the uh, sun is out. It looks rather like grey, plasticky material. But you can see there's a very slight sort of speckling in it. And if you get the light in the right place, you can see it behaves really quite brilliantly. Let's just do that. Here it is. The material on the table is that sort of reflective material. Once the light is coming from the right direction, though, you can see it positively glows. And by the shadow on it, you can see how much that's reflecting. It really stands out. Well, that is really a sort of sandwich of reflective material. And the things that are doing a lot of the focusing of the rays of light are these. They're absolutely minute marbles. I'll put some on the mirror. They're tiny little glass beads or bubbles, and they bounce around there like round grains of sand. And that spherical shape, that ball shape, is very important for the way they behave. It's really what makes the material reflect, because it's a sandwich of those and silver and glue. It really starts like this, a piece of material, and then that's got some reflective material, probably aluminium paint, something like that. That's what bounces the rays of light through the glass beads. Of course, they have to be stuck to it, so on goes the glue. And then finally, on go the glass beads themselves. There we are, sprinkling like that, spread them out, and if we tip off the surface, you can see quite a lot are sticking to that silver. Now that's a crude model, it wouldn't work awfully well, but it would work. And what's happening is that each of those little glass beads is taking in light, turning it around and bouncing it back. They're rather like this. Let's take a super ball, that's a clear one. You can see it's like a marble. It's really clear, but in the glass bead reflector, it would have the back part of it coated in silver. It would be like a spherical mirror with half of it silvered. Now, if we go to a larger model, that's really like the back of the bead. You can see there's the sort of hemispherical reflecting silvery part. And any light ray that goes in has got to come out again the same way. If it hits the middle of that reflector, it does that. It comes straight back past my ear. Even if I turn the bead round a bit, it will still come back pretty well at me, directly at me. And even if it hits the side of that bead, it might bounce off, but as long as it hits more of the silvering, it'll eventually come out the way it went in. And that's just one of the glass beads. Now, in a piece of material like that, you've got thousands or even millions, each one of them turning the light rays around and throwing it back at you. So it's no wonder that it reflects. And it reflects not just in silver, but in many colours. You can get this stuff in red, which you can put on the back of your jacket if you're a cyclist, or you can trim all your clothes in it so everybody can see your outline. And road workers use it and make jerkins of the stuff so that they really stand out in the middle of the night as long as there's a light on them. And of course, that's a car light. And you can get all sorts of things like zips and do up your clothing with them. So why don't you get some of this stuff and do up your bicycle? You'll glow in the night and you'll really be safe.